Okay, let's see if this one is kind of ready to. So I'll go in here and just kind of shave some of this. Either use a paring knife or this is just my spatula. And see where there's some little gaps there? You could just take a little bit more of the chocolate. See those little gaps? A little bit more of the chocolate in there and fill in those areas. Okay, I may as well go ahead and attach the uh, bottle. And if I want to write anything on the bottle, I still have this chocolate. You can make a little label on the computer if you wanted to. You can even put two of these bottles together, give it more of a 3D if you'd like. Let's see, this is still. So the pink chocolate's soft in here, but the uh, tip is just a little hard. So if you actually just kind of squeeze some of that chocolate out, then it should be workable again. There we go. It's a little harder to write in chocolate because it's so runny. So once it starts to set a little bit, there's two places like the E and the A here where it kind of filled in the middle right here. So I can kind of open that back up. And you could also pipe in uh, buttercream or uh, royal icing, but you already have the chocolate out. That saves you getting another bag out. And I thought I'd put it just right in this area here. So it should be set enough up enough that it's not going to drip down. So I'll just pop it here. I'm thinking that right there looks pretty good. Oh. Okay, so wherever it is um, sticking, like to the lid, I'll put some chocolate behind there to secure it. And we can even put some on the base, like right underneath here. And then you can clean any of that up, excess with a brush.